Hi, everyone. We're just waiting for Taylor. I just didn't. Oh, found her. <laughs> hey. Hi. What is <laughs> up? Your connection is bad. Oh, no. Is that better? Mm -mm. Your face is frozen, and then I see a circle. Well, now no, it's no. pitch black. Great. Now it's good. Oh, thank the <laughs> Lord. Did you hear me that entire time? Uh, yeah, I heard you giving the play-by-play -play of what was happening. Oh. Um, well, first of all, sister, welcome back to The well, Courage. Thank you. I, we couldn't be more happy. <laughs> me uh, I couldn't I be more happy. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I don't know if that was okay to say, but I'm like really happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. I mean, it is what it is. Everyone was like, you could tell the first time Taylor Smith came back to the courage after getting traded, how much she loved it there. <laughs> I was like, no. that is heartbreaking. <laughs> um, also, did you watch Casey and Nathan's? No, <laughs> I did not watch. <laughs> but, but so how does this work? So are you interviewing me? Do we both ask questions? Do we read? Somebody just I, I, am <laughs> I am interviewing you. Oh, but did you see the comment that went, hi, Abby? I am Meredith. This is Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm going to ask you questions that the fans are want to ask you. So if you guys have a question for Taylor, write it in the chat, and I will ask her as many questions as I possibly can. Um, oh, hello. Well, I guess the first great question to start off with is, who is that little bean? This is Izzy, say hi, Izzy. Please shake on camera. Sit. <gasps> shake. Oh, good job, Izzy. Raise your hand if you're excited to come to North Carolina. Shake. Good girl. Oh, good job. I would. I would show you. Oh well, he just left. So. <laughs> um, well. <laughs> um. Camera shy. Um. Okay. So uh, here's a question: Who will you be living with? That is to be determined, but okay. I know a pretty cool girl on the team named Kate <laughs> Brolin, who I might room with. Um, oh, but yeah. are you looking forward to that? Yes, it's gonna be so fun. She's very excited about Izzy and can't wait to spoil her like a good aunt. I actually have seen Caitlin in action and she is a very good aunt and spoils. Right. She actually was watching the kittens for me and treated them like old. Let's see Basil and why, why was I going to say Aspen? Cypress. I can't. They're hiding under my bed. They're very <laughs> camera shy. Oh, the live? They don't want to be on the live. They say, no, no, no. Um, what makes it special to play for Paul Riley? Hmm. I will say, I mean, when I was back on The Courage, I felt like the training I got from him was so game realistic and like everything was high tempo. And like, if a session was gonna be like 52 minutes, it was 52 minutes. Like, it was like, do a drill, high intensity, water, back on the field, like, here we go. And it was just honestly the best training that I've ever had and like was super consistent. Um, and yeah, he is an awesome coach and I'm so honored to play for him again. Um, are you excited? I mean, the courage is known for being super fit. So are you looking forward to that and going into that this preseason? Are you ready for it? Am I ready? No. But <laughs> yes. <laughs> I cannot wait to be skinny skinny. I am I'm ready. That's what <laughs> So this is what it's all about. Wait, who is the funniest player on the current squad? Oh, so were you supposed to ask that? Well, yes, but I mean, go ahead. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right, right, Davinia. <laughs> I'll say Mare and me. All right, I was going to say, are you, can, are you counted? Because I feel like you're going to definitely say yourself. No, 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 no. I, I won't say that. I'll say who is. <laughs> I'll say you. Unintentionally. I'll, I'll, I was going to say unintentionally Mary. hilarious. Sam. That's our TikTok channel. That well, that was the next thing I was going to say is oh. people need to know: Are you bringing back the YouTube channel? The YouTube channel? I don't know, but a TikTok channel 
is in the works with the Deb surf responded. Huh? She's watching. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Deb. <laughs> what was I saying? I was in the sentence. Oh, she yeah. Said yeah. No to YouTube, yes to TikTok. There is a possibility of a joint channel on TikTok with one of the Courage players now, and it is going to be very good and very fun. You might have seen a spoiler on Twitter already. Wow, I haven't seen this. Yes, you, yes, you have. You have. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, 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 not that. Actually, I don't know if you've seen it. I don't know. <laughs> <Okay>. um, <laughs> wait, no, I don't know what I was going to ask. I had another question. Someone wants to know who the tallest person on the team is. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Um, you, sh you just answered you do have a TikTok. What club team did you play for before college? I played for Albertson. Oh, I played for Solar Red, but my last year we were Solar Chelsea, like the Premier League team. And so, yeah, Solar Texas from Dallas, Texas, Fort Worth, Texas. Um, two questions. One is, do you have any specific goals going into this season? Mm, yes. I think for me, like, I have just been giving it a lot of thought, especially because Last year I was out with an ACL injury and then this year we were all in a pandemic and I've played maybe five or six games since I've come back from my injury. And so for me, I feel like I'm still in that process of me being patient with myself to getting back to, you know, my full 100% like fitness and like feeling like myself. And so I think my goal for this is just to be patient with myself and kind of just like celebrate all the small victories. Oh, that's like so sweet. And like, <laughs> You weren't expecting but good, it. I wasn't good for you. That's <laughs> very touching, Taylor. Um, with all the roster moves in the NWSL, what are, you, what are your expectations for the upcoming season? All the roster moves. Um, v says hold the camera steady. Me? Yep. Oh, that's because I'm in a spinny chair. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's because I'm anxious. <laughs> what, was, well, what was the question? V is so with, all of, with all of the roster moves, what are your expectations for the upcoming season? To be honest, I have no clue. Because, I mean, I feel like everybody went through this crazy, like, weird season. And so it's going to be completely different because we have to play 24 games, a Challenge Cup. It's going to be, like, a lot. Like, so anybody can take the cake. But it's going to be the I was going to say, but the cake is ours. <laughs> <laughs> best player you've played against, best player you've played with. Best player I have played against. Why does it feel like it's been so long since I've played? Like, um, wow, this is a hard question. I was not expecting this question. They're coming at you with the hard hitting question. Best player I've played with, I will say, oh, gotta hold the camera steady. What? Why you just put it down? That? Huh? I'm not mad at you. Why don't you just put it down? Oh, okay. I'll say the best player. Well, I don't want to name somebody. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay. Say... One of the most talented players that sticks out. I will say. You know what? Yeah. Mm hmm. I will say, well, I hate that you're just staring at me. Well, we're all just staring at you, waiting for you to answer. Um, okay, I'll say Sam, and then I'll also say Sarah Killian from Sky Blue. Like, when I played with her at UCLA and even at some national team camps, like, she's just so composed and calm. Like, that energy just, like, radiates towards me, and I appreciate that. But, yeah, I'll say those two. Good to know. Mm -hmm. um, and played against, I guess you could – Theoretically, say both of those people because you also played against them in the NWSL? Yes, true. Yeah. Okay, I'll say those two. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> um, how was playing with UCLA in college? Wait, sorry. Did you see that one comment? Are you going to see? Did you see it? The one Ooh, I don't know where you are. Oh, the one about my skincare routine. Oh, <laughs> I didn't see that. I'm a little bit further up. That's funny. Um, sorry, what were you saying? <laughs> I said, how did you like playing at UCLA? How did I like playing at UCLA? It was so fun. Um, I 
I was the only one from like out of state, but in my like class, but that was kind of cool because all the girls in my grade were like so familiar with California and stuff. So I got to experience that, but um, it was so fun. We won a championship my sophomore year. Um, but yeah, the level was really high and it was, it was fun. Um, okay. This person says, how do I make a goal to make professional team? I'm almost in high school. I would say consistency is key. I myself am still working on that, but literally just be, I'd say that's more important than anything. Like don't like, you know, kill yourself one week and then not like do anything. Just a nice, steady, good consistency. Yeah. Okay. Haley Mays and Vanessa, you're like literally making this about yourself and being annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Tell how awesome Vanessa is. Well, so what is your what is your skincare routine? I've gotten a lot of asks. Your skin is glowing right now, by the way. Is it really? Yes. Wow. Today I just put on a sprinkle of aloe vera. Literally, less is more. Aloe vera gel. Use it on your skin. I feel like that's gonna for sure make people break out. Aloe vera? <laughs> no. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know. It feels like one of those things where like you're gonna swear by it and I'm gonna wake up tomorrow with like ten pimples on my face and be like <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, like a thing, but to be fair, I have dry skin. So I need like extreme moisture, but I keep it simple with some aloe vera gel and then I heard you should splash cold water on your face in the morning. Do you do that? Well, I always wash my face in the morning. Yeah. Cold water? Yeah. And then once you get out of the shower for like a split second, you're supposed to turn on cold water once you're getting out. Good to know. Wow, <laughs> I'm learning so much. Um, this is, I guess, like a, a yes or no. Do you think that you have a big fan base in Tennessee? Um, I don't know if I know anybody in Tennessee. Uh, so no. <laughs> let's go with that. <laughs> Um, have you always been a defender or do you have a preferred position to play? Um, once I played my second, no, yeah, my first year of pro, I played forward. And then next year at the Courage, that's when I started to play outside back. So I've been an outside back for a couple of years. Um, I would say... I honestly don't know what I prefer. Before, like when they converted me, I was like, oh, I hate this, I wanna be a forward. But now I'm kind of like, yeah, like I, I like both. Okay, so you'll just go wherever you're told. You're just a team player. Yes, I am a team player. Coach, if you're listening, <laughs> <laughs> do you hear that? <laughs> Can we put a block on some comments because Haley Mace is just flooding the line. Just ignore her. <laughs> um, do you have any advice for like young kids in high school? Um, yeah, I mean, like I said before, just like consistency, but also just like make sure you're like having fun with it. Like I feel like for me, like sometimes I get so stressed out, but then I'll sit back and I'll think about it. And I was like, I just like love going to training every day. It's always different. And like literally all of my best friends are like my soccer friends and stuff like it really is time like you should just like enjoy and like make sure you're always having fun with it you know yeah i agree great advice um how are you feeling coming back from your injury do you feel like you're at 100 percent yet or um i mean i feel good like body wise like i'm like honestly happy to be healthy um but I think I wouldn't say I'm like, I'm a hundred percent healthy, but I wouldn't say I'm a hundred percent like back to myself. Just, mm -hmm. I feel like I need to play, you know, a few more games. Like I think I've played like two 90 minute games since coming back. And I feel like I want to be able to get like a, a rhythm of playing and like getting like high intensity training and stuff. So hopefully next year, you know, like COVID goes away and like we can have a full season. Yeah. Um, do you have any advice for Tennessee Courage fans? Ooh, do I have any advice for them? Pick us instead of Louisville. Wait, what? I said pick us instead of Louisville for Tennessee fans. I was like, Louisville's not in Tennessee. And then I had to think about it for a second. Um, it's, it's not. 
but that's close to Tennessee. So they should pick us and never, you know what, forget it. Do you have any advice for Tennessee fans? No, because they're already geniuses. They're already Courage fans. They're doing great. <laughs> okay. Uh, who would you pick in a 2v2 duel? So you plus who versus any two players? Oh, like soccer-wise. I thought they were going to say like a fight. 2v2. We could do both. I mean, we could do both. Um, oh, these are such hard questions. Who would I pick? Okay. I'll just say like, I won't take it personally if you don't want to say me as to be on your team. Like, I know you can choose someone I would else. Just, okay, fine. <laughs> I'll say, <laughs> you know what? I'd say you and me versus Deb and Lynn. I hope we're not betting on this two victory battle. <laughs> no, you know what? Defense over offense. I feel good about it. Yeah. Okay. No. And uh, is that also, you want to do that 2v2 for a fight? So, okay. I'll, for fighting, I'll take out, <laughs> let's take out both of them and let's toss, <laughs> let's talk, toss in Sam and who else? Who else? Oh, and Caitlin, Caitlin for sure. Yeah. Got to go for the ankles. <laughs> <laughs> um, does loud cheering annoy you or do you like it? No, I like it. I feel like it gets, you know, gets the crowd going, gets the adrenaline going. Yeah. Someone said, hey, cousin. I don't know if it's actually your cousin. Am I behind you or am I ahead of you? It's probably ahead of me. C Nation 09. I think Deb just, <laughs> Deb wants to do the 2v2. <laughs> <laughs> um, first thing you're going to do when you get back to North Carolina. Um, well... I haven't really thought about it, but I have, I do know that I want to go to Bad Daddy's, the burger place, because I love that place, and Mellow Mushroom, because I love that place. Um, um, I mean, I guess go to one of those two places. That'll be probably <laughs> after I go, my <laughs> yeah, go literally anywhere <laughs> after not being able to go anywhere for so long. Yeah, please. Um, are you excited for the new additions to the league slash traveling to LA? Who is the interview? Hi, I'm Meredith Speck. I am on the curve. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I honestly think it's so exciting. Like, how many years have we had? How many teams are in the league? Nine or eight? Nine. How many years has it been with nine teams? I have no idea. Two, three. No, yeah. So, I mean, it's been it's been a good chunk of time since we've had an expansion team. So, like, it's, like, super exciting um, that we're adding more teams. And I think a bunch of people are excited about LA. Like, that's, like, really sick for our league and going to be, like, a super cool place. But, um, yeah. And then Louisville coming in next year. I'm excited to see, you know, how they yeah. are. Their stadium and everything's going to be sick. So, I think it's going to be, like, good for us and good, like, competition and like it gives you know more opportunity to see other people play and stuff and yeah um nope not that one I, uh <laughs> what favorite thing about being part of the courage i feel like i'm ahead hey, of Ab. Oh, okay. well I, yeah because i'm trying to, i don't want to miss any so i'm not at the bottom hi abby um oh here's a question for you meredith speck any advice on midfielders and training I don't know why you think you can hijack this interview, ma'am. I'm interviewing you. Um, advice for midfielders in training, I would say fitness. Check and yes, literally, check, <laughs> get into the habit of checking your shoulders. <laughs> it's like literally so important being aware of like where pressure is coming. I think like you can see definitely like, <clears throat> uh, all of our midfielders, like especially like Denise and um, Deb, have like a like crazy good awareness of like where the pressure is coming from and how they should like move their body to avoid being tackled and just get out of very tight situations. Um, I mean, people keep asking for us to let people in. Does any Courage player who's currently live want to join us and ask Taylor a question? <laughs> and uh, in the meantime, would you come play for Everton or any club in England? I think you're getting an offer in your Welcome to the Courage live. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I would love to play overseas. Um, that league seems so good. I feel like it um, would be like a good challenge. Like if I get the opportunity, like 
you know, like I would love to, but yeah. All right. Well, you guys heard it. But everyone say bye to Taylor. She's uh, going to England instead of coming to the courage. So. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, it was nice while it lasted. Are you kidding me? <laughs> courage till I die. Also, by the way, suddenly everyone has gone radio silent in the comments about <laughs> Who Kelly wants Mace, to go? gone, Deb, gone, Abby, Abby gone. Go. <laughs> um, what makes Paul Riley such a good coach? And how did you get into soccer? Um, do, do we already answer the Paul one? I'll, I'll rehash. Yeah, you can, then maybe they missed it. Um, I'll, I'll just add on. Yeah. Um, I basically was saying, you know, the training was really good, very realistic. And I think for every single one of his players, like he won't allow like less than their best. Like he's always going to get like the best out of you and stuff. And I started playing when I was like three. I have an older sister who is two, three years older than me and she played. And so like, I don't know, I just wanted to do what she was doing. And then like, I like loved it and stuff. But yeah. Um, and, oh, you, okay, you're not gonna go back on the, the Paul, why he's such a good go coach? No, I, I the first part I said. Oh, okay. Um, do you have a game day routine? Um, I would say usually, uh, I, <laughs> I'm actually really laughing at this comment, they should call the Courage vs. Louisville game the battle over Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> I would say I always wake up watch Premier League game if it's on and then I'll do like a little cleaning the apartment you know then chill make my pregame and then like go but yeah mainly that what's your pregame meal my pregame meal you know it is um I feel like it changes a lot like now I'd probably say like I try not to eat meat, so let me, let me think. What did I? Okay, the simplest I'd say is like oatmeal. And then- Just plain oatmeal? Just plain oatmeal, or like some avocado toast. I what think flavor oatmeal? Well, no flavor, you just put a little, so like a few almonds in it and some sugar. Mm, sounds. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> I like oh all of a sudden Haley's back in the comments <laughs> you didn't want to join. I saw Deb in there too somewhere. Um and Carrie also was writing in it. I'm like suddenly everyone now that no one wants them in anymore is back, <laughs> back involved. Um you, you did you say how you got recruited to UCLA? No, I didn't. Um I was recruited by Jill when she was the coach there mm -hmm. and like it was like super easy for me to talk to her. I like love that. And you know, she convinced me to like come out and like go on a visit. And I did. And then she got the US job and then BJ Snow took over. And I also liked him. So I was like, ooh, like I'll go there. And like, um, yeah, that was how I got recruited. Uh, Lynn wants to know about if you could tell everyone about the time you went vegan. <laughs> <laughs> Does she not, was she can type, but she can't join the live? Okay. No, you know what? I will tell this story. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see. I, I, I have no idea how to add her. So I would if I could, but I don't know how. Sorry, well, everyone. You I hit a little plus button, but it's not here. You can go live with more than one people. Okay. Uh, oh, no. Mm -mm. I'm pressing stuff. Mm -mm. Oh, turn God. request, turn off how many share again. I don't, uh... Oh, someone said, I think only two people can be on live. I, really I don't think you can add a third. Them. Okay. You know what? Thank you, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> they saw us struggling. What was... What was... Uh, my question was... Oh, no, no, about vegan. vegan. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so my first year at Western New York, I was like, I need to change my eating habits because I would literally have, like, pizza for breakfast and ice cream. And so I was like, you know, I'm just going to cut it cold turkey. And, <laughs> and so... I went do you vegan. usually do things zero to 100? Yes. <laughs> okay. That's why balance is the word of 2021. Um, but what was I saying? Yeah, so I went vegan. So I was eating vegetables. I was making, like, really good chilies, you know, making, like, salads. What day was this? Day two? This is, like, day one, day two. <laughs> <laughs> and 
day three hit you guys and like i was starving and i remember we went out to dinner and i was like i'm just gonna order some chicken fingers and i ordered chicken fingers and then i confessed to everybody the next day and it turned out that the entire team had a bet going of how long i would last of being a vegan and who won I don't know. I was so offended. I, nobody believed in me. Not a single soul. Actually, I think Nort gave me like a week. <laughs> I think I gave you like literally an hour. Who said three days? It might have been. Eh, I don't know. I can't remember. Someone who doesn't know you that well, because that is far <laughs> too long. <laughs> um, do you have any superstitions on game day? Superstitions? Um, not really, but I will say I always put like my right side on first. So my right shoe, my right shin, my left shoe, my left shin. I'm sorry. Say that one more time. <laughs> like Lynn said she sends a request, but I don't know even everyone's saying that's not a thing. I, so she's lying to us, I think. I don't want to click things because I don't know what's happening. And now there's stuff at the bottom of my screen. Okay, just just answer and what what my question which was about oh my gosh is that chris casey's boyfriend hi chris casey's boyfriend it she's an australian lab australian shepherd lab mix oh my god <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about there's gonna be so many puppies on the courage now so you wait you do right sock right shin guard right shoe no i said right i'm getting everybody's um i'm trying to see how to do it for lynn to add but i, do, I don't think she can i do my right cleat well you know you only put on your cleats as guard, so i just do my right side first and then my left leg okay just you know clarifying i i was reading honestly i was reading questions when i asked you and i got distracted and then you started saying like right shin right foot right tongue and i was like <laughs> i don't know what she's saying <laughs> Um, is it harder to play soccer on a football slash soccer field or is it better or the same? On a football slash soccer field. Oh, like with all the lines. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say, I remember the last time I've played on a football field, honestly. I'll just say it's worse because of the lines. Mainly the, because okay. you can't tell what's what. Are we playing white? Are we playing yellow? What are we doing? Where are we and what's happening? <laughs> um, I guess we have time for one more question. So how much do you guys <laughs> do Don't answer that one. <laughs> <laughs> what Courage players are you most excited to not have to play against? Any All of more? All of them. <laughs> what a great answer. Um, cool. Well, thanks for chatting with me, sis. Of course. I'll probably FaceTime you in 10 minutes. Perfect. And we can recap all of our highs and lows of this conversation. Oh, look, Michaela's on. Oh, hi, Mick. Man, now I feel like I really should have broadcasted this more. Okay. Well, maybe, you know, if we get rave reviews, we'll do another one. Okay, perfect. My friend just asked me from high school, why are you live on Instagram? <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh...